Hello, darlings. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing tonight? Good night, good night, good night. I hope everybody can hear me well. And welcome to tonight's live tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do some palm trees. I've already taken the liberty of painting in a little bit of my sunset and sky in my background. So here is the second tutorial, the second installment to kind of last week's. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If you guys are down in the chat, let me know. Comment below and let me know if you can hear me. If you are new around here, I have a lot of new subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you are new around here, my name is Danielle. I'm the artist behind Creative Girl of Color. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Welcome. Now, this particular um, reference photo that I had the liberty of printing out, it, I'm going to link it down below. It is from unsplash.com. Um, kind of let me refresh my screen so I can kind of see what's going on. Um, see what's going on and catch up here. So hopefully you guys can see me. I am going to teach you this really, really quick tonight. I wanted to do like an impromptu live and live and direct. It's Saturday night. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> I wanted to do an impromptu live because... The other night, my life was, like, so crazy. I didn't know what was going on. Like, it kept bugging out. So, we're going to pray to the YouTube gods that everything is okay. Um, This particular reference photo is going to be down in the description box below. As well as my color palette, tips, tricks, social media, all of that jazz. If you decide to attempt this tutorial, you can hit me up on Instagram under the hashtag creative girls of color girls with the s and let me see your work link me up let me see what's going on i would love to talk to you guys also i would love for you guys to comment below and let me know what type of content you would like to see are you loving the current for format do you like the live videos do you like the pre-recorded videos do you want to do art challenges what other things are you guys really really interested in and what would you love to see on my channel that you're not really seeing in the market right now? Because I'm open to all things art, all things activity, yes? Okay, so let's get started. Um, let me kind of adjust my mic. Adjust my microphone. And make sure we're all good there. So again, everything is down in the description box. I'm using an 8x10 canvas, which you can pick up at any big box craft store, any Michaels, Joann's, wherever you are in the world. There should be a craft store. There should be some store around the world that sells canvases. I mean, good Lord. Like, you could probably even make your own canvas somewhere, right? I think even Walmart, and they have pretty much a Walmart in everywhere on the planet at this point that you should be able to have access to you guys now if you guys are not familiar with color theory you have a hard time mixing colors when this live is over I will link it up in the i card so you, can, you guys can have that available I've already done my background this is an eight again this is an eight by ten canvas you can actually go up a size probably to a nine by twelve eleven by fourteen I don't think it really matters at this point so, you know, go crazy with it, you guys. And also, you don't have to have the exact colors that I have. You really, really don't. Like, if you don't like these sort of colors, like, say you like, you want it to just be a grayscale, you can just use the grayscale. You know, again, if you have color theory under your belt, the sky's the limit, pretty much. You can do whatever you want in this life as long as you have all the fundamentals of art underneath your belt. You really don't need to 
follow exact exact but I tried to do it as exact as possible to basically show you guys how to do it in the realism format and then you can I guess do whatever you want at that point you know what I mean now I am going to be uh, kind of like putting in my trees so let's let's see now on my reference photo Bop, bop, bop. You probably have probably about a finger length between the. I'm trying to get the perspective, right? You probably have a finger length between the. Depending on how long your fingers are, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you probably have a finger length between the top of your canvas and where the top of your trees are so that's what we want to we kind of want to gauge where our perspective is going to be with this particular photo yeah and um so that's pretty much what i'm going to do or you can take your pencil or you could even take a ruler which i don't have a ruler right here with me but you can actually take a ruler and figure out how far down it's going to be you know what i mean but if you scale up right if you guys go to a 9 by 12, 11 by 14, 16 by 20, even a 24 by 36, you're going to have to figure out what that perspective is and how far up you actually want your trees to be, right? Also, I have different blues and yellows that cool blues, cool yellows, warm yellows, warm blues, right? I have that on my palette as well because I'm going to have... The trees have these different variations of the different greens and all of that jazz, yeah? So, definitely. So now that we figured out where our trees are, where the perspective is, I'm going to start drawing that in. I'm utilizing my handy dandy, kind of let me fix my microphone. I'm going to make sure my mic is high enough so you guys can hear me very, very well, yeah? So... Um, my trees, I'm using to sketch onto my canvas, and you can use pretty much anything you want, except I don't recommend that you use regular, like, number two pencils, graphite, all that stuff. I don't really recommend that you use graphite, because graphite tends to bleed, and you get into other issues, okay? It's going to bleed into your painting, and it's going to be a mess, so I wouldn't recommend that you do it. You can get some, if you're on a budget, you can get some regular chalk. You know, I picked that up at any, you can get it at a dollar store, dollar tree, family dollar. I don't know what they have in the UK, India, whatever. But, you know, whether you got to go in the backyard, dig up some chalk. <laughs> dig up the chalk and get yourself some chalk so that you can sketch in your image, right? So, I'm going to use some regular chalk and it comes in different colors. This is just regular Crayola chalk, but you can also get... Uh, General's White Charcoal Pencil, which is really, really good. It is artist, basically artist material. And you can actually, a lot of artists use this all over the world to draw and they use it for portraiture, all types of things. So I'm going to show you with both of them how I would do it, yeah? So I'm pretty much, since my sunset, and the sunset here is pretty much, right? towards the middle of our picture, I'm going to make, I'm going to put like some little marks to know that I want the tops of my trees to kind of not go any further than here. So I'm going to mark things out. You can do that, you know, mark things out, figure out whatever you got to do to get it the way you want to. Because remember, this is a whole sky and your palm trees are basically flying up into the sky. Yes, yes, and yes. Okay, so my palm trees are going to go up here. If you feel like the white charcoal pencil is not opaque enough, you can't see it. Let me go ahead with the regular yellow chalk. Okay. And palm trees, right, you guys, tend to be really skinny. So let's see if I can do this without kind of getting out of the shot. Since palm trees seem to be really skinny, 
I am going to, and since, you know what, it's kind of redundant to even do this because with yellow chalk, I would recommend you guys get a different color chalk because I got a lot of yellow in this. And I'm just going to kind of rough my trees in. These trees seem to be really rough, like, right, they kind of wave. So you want to get like some life and all of that in your trees. So I'm going to do like a waving motion. Yeah. And I think you could kind of see that. right? You should be able to see it. Hopefully. Hopefully you should be able to see it. And then we have kind of like another one here. But this one kind of goes like in the back. So you want to have them at varying lengths to indicate perspective, indicate where things are. The ones that seem to be in the back are going to be lower than the ones that are in the front, right? So you have these little, and you don't have to do each tree. Like I wouldn't even, you know. Remember, the trees are very, very skinny. They seem to be the same width all the way around, except at the very, very top. They might get a little bit thicker. You know, you may even get some coconuts. Coconuts, man. And then you have one that's, like, right in the middle, which I'm going to change out my... Uh, what's her name? Now, you guys, I know you're probably like, she's all over the place. I don't even know when she's going to upload. Okay, if you guys are confused about when I upload, when I'm going to be putting new content in, my channel is relatively new, you guys, so I'm still trying to work out the dynamics on when I'm going to upload and how I'm going to upload. At this point, I know that I want to upload at least twice a week so that I can have some beautiful comprehensive art content or some sort of art tip or something for you guys. If you guys have a certain day or a certain, you know, time that you like to see things or you can always put it down in the suggestions or in the comments below and I will definitely try and, you know, make that happen. Okay, so now we have a focal tree. Now this one, you want to get like a little, you know what I'm playing? Hopefully you guys can see that this one... I'm going to really try to make sure I'm doing what I got to do. This one, I'm going to, even though this one isn't the highest one, we're going to make this the darkest and the most highlighted. Also, you're going to hear the ambient sounds of my child. So hopefully you guys out there in YouTube land love children. Because as you know, they don't always cooperate. They tend to come out of the woodworks and start doing craziness when you're trying to do activities. <laughs> now, if you see this in the back of my, my canvas, I kind of propped it up on the back of my canvas because I want to be able to see what I'm doing as well as I want you guys to be able to see it without all that glare. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're, we kind of got like a little outline of how we want things to look. And I'm not going to get into too, I never get into too much detail with this, um, the drawing bit unless I'm doing a, um, a portrait because you know it always gets um, lost in the source so to speak when I'm actually painting things and I rather paint in I rather paint in the detail than actually draw in the detail you understand what I mean if it makes sense hopefully it makes sense so I kind of rather do that than do anything else um, So that's pretty much what I'm doing because the trees, the tree in the photo has a lot of ridges on it. Palm trees tend to have a lot of ridges. 
And then you kind of have this thing, right? Where it kind of sprouts. They kind of sprout, sprout out, and then, again, I'm not going to get into a ton. But this tree is, like, really weird, right? It's this, I don't know why it's, it's weird. Like, I'm trying to figure out where the origins of this particular photo is. But it's really weird. It seems to have these like things, yeah? Alright, now I'm going to have this one come off this way. And then we're going to have like things. They have like little stringy leaves. Like, I don't even know how to explain them things. They're like little bamboo type of leaves or whatever you want to call them but they have these little stringy leaves now I don't know if this is the way they're supposed to be because I've never seen um, palm trees that look like this yeah you guys I've never seen palm trees that look like this they kind of like like if you can see with the reference photo they're kind of weird and wonky like you know they go up and then you have one here. And don't worry about your chalk because, again, chalk we know can erase. Once you put the paint down, it will erase. I'm just trying to trying to get, like, a line, an outline of what these little weird, wonky um, things are going to look like. Okay, and then you have something here that seems to spring out this way. Now, for things to look, and then it gets, like, thinner right there, right? And... You want to have different variation when you're doing this, because... If you don't... And it's, like, some weird sticky thing right here. I don't know. If you don't have variation, you guys, right? If you don't have variation, it's not going to look realistic and it's going to look weird as well as not only do you need to have variation in your palm tree, but you need to have variation in, okay, and then it's like a weird, I don't even know what this thing is, like a weird, like rogue leaf or branch, whatever. I don't know, would you call them branches since they're um, palm trees? I don't know. See, and then it's like a weird thing here, right? Okay, so I would recommend that you guys have lots of variation in um, when you're doing anything when it comes to whether you're doing trees, portraiture, flowers abstracts whatever you're doing i re definitely recommend that you have variation meaning shadows mid-tone at the very least you, you should have a mid-tone shadow and and highlight yeah so that's three different values within itself that way you get different variation and you give it the illusion of having a 3d look okay so now that we did that you can actually get real cute with it and add like a coconut <laughs> Oh, coconut, man. Let's add a coconut. Okay, so we did that. Now, these trees, again, these are like some weird looking trees. Okay, so now we're going to go to this other one. That's like really skinny. And then we're going to go off this way. But I want this one to kind of, huh. Even though the branches or whatever you call these things tend to be, seem to be, uh, like, bent and weird, right? Even though they need to, they tend to be bent and weird, and that's okay, you still have to do your little leaf things, right? And see this this is again I never seen palm trees 
and then let's have another one coming off here and you can kind of make these things up as you go too like you don't have to be totally accurate with the palm tree situation ship situation ship you feel what i'm saying <clears throat> Okay, and then we have another one kind of here. Now, you can draw these things out, or you can actually, um, okay, let's do this one. I'm going to kind of try to do the outline. They seem to kind of be level with each other, but they're really not, okay? And then you got a kind of, kind of, kind of soda. Kind of, kind of. Um, you have like something coming off here. Now remember, if you want to give the illusion, hopefully you can hear me because Murphy's Law and my heat want to come on at the same time. Um, you kind of want to give the illusion like... If you want to give the illusion that something is coming from a certain direction, you would go smaller towards the back and longer, your leaves would be longer towards the viewer. You feel what I'm saying? So, that's what that is about. And then you have something here, right? So, I'm just building on what I have right here. Because, again, this is weird. Even though I did my little outline. And then... I'm going to put something there. Now, have fun with it. You know, go crazy. Go crazy, people. Go crazy. You don't have to be... And then you have something here. The good thing about chalk is that you can erase it with your finger and it will also erase with paint. So then you have a set of palm trees that's right here, like right here, right? And that's actually going to overlap. And I'm just doing a rough little thing right there, right? That's going to overlap, right? over this focal tree okay so that's what that is all right now let's kind of get painting we have about maybe four trees i think four trees um one two three four five we have six trees there's actually another tree um down here in the photo but i'm not going to put that again you have artistic license to change things as you see fit sometimes things do not fit into your aesthetic or your you know your art style it may not fit so then you know if it doesn't fit then you must have quit you feel what i'm saying so don't put it in there if you don't like it you feel like it's not fitting then don't put it in there so, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not putting it in there. You feel what I'm saying? We're not putting it in there. Um, hmm. Let me go back to... I'm sorry, guys. Let me... I need to look and see what's going on here. Okay, good. actually oh <laughs> it's so crazy you guys like I have I'm live but I'm looking at it on the TV as well trying to see what's going on okay good so I can actually see things now I have these different oh so you can see like the yellow chalk and stuff like that Matter of fact, let me turn it up a, a little bit so I can actually hear. Okay. 
Yeah, so I can actually hear what's going on, you guys. All right, good. So you can hear me good. All right, so let me kind of adjust my mic again because I need you to be a lot closer. I need you to get closer to me. I need you to really feel me, see me, hear me. Okay, now. I like, if you want to utilize, if you guys want to attempt this background, I just used different yellows and gallery acrylic. You can utilize any acrylics for this particular tutorial, craft paint, you know, whatever you want, artist grade, student grade, premium grade, whatever you feel like you need to use, go ahead and do that. I have different grades. I actually have some artist grade paint, which is golden, which I use in quinacridone. Magenta is my favorite color in the whole wide world. Right? And I have ooh, some gallery acrylics, which you can utilize. I actually like this brand. This is a student grade brand. And, you know, um, but I can only get this at the artist, actually a premium artist store. Not at like a Michaels, Joann's, or anything like that. This is the artist, actually, in my area, Plaza Artist Materials is the only place that I've actually found this. You might be able to get it online. I'm not sure. But it doesn't really matter. It's not about the equipment. It's about you and how you make the best of what you got. You know, make magic out of whatever you got. So you can use craft paint, house paint, whatever it is. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, so... Um, gallery acrylics, I like that one, and I'm, I actually didn't use the quinacridone gold, because I forgot I even had it, <laughs> and this stuff is pretty expensive if you get it in an artist grade, but it doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? Um, this is not an, uh, an, um, an artist grade acrylic, this is actually... Um, it's like a student grade, but it's, it's a Plaza Artist Materials brand. Um, I actually, I actually use some of, um, my go-to paint, my go-to acrylic paint, which is Liquitex Basics, which is absolutely awesome. I, I also utilize that. And that's that. So. We have yellows at the bottom. I glazed a little bit of yellow ochre for the top as well as a little bit of magenta. And then we graduated into magenta, purples, and blues at the top. Now remember, um, if you're familiar with your color theory, you, you know that if you mix certain colors together, even if they're in the same picture, you need to make sure that they don't they don't kind of mix because you will make your not only will you make your colors muddy but you have the potential of changing the total composition of the color and making it something totally different now my palette is over here to the right of me I'm gonna actually spray it down and because um, acrylics you know they all they want to do is, is basically dry. Yeah, so all they want to do is basically dry while they on the palette. You know what I'm saying? Especially depending on where you at. Now, I happen to be in the East Coast, which is very cold weather, so yeah. Alright, now, I'm going to do my tree trunk. Let's get our little tree trunk um, in. I'm going to wet my brush. Now, 90% of the time, since we have dark branches on our reference photo, I am... Utilizing burnt umber, diox purple, a little bit of burnt sienna, and 
that's that. You feel what I'm saying? But you can actually, if you don't have diox purple and you want to make it really dark, you can do a multitude of things. You can put reds, greens, um, actually some blue and some burnt umber, which I really like. But this is actually raw umber. I'm sorry. So, yeah. That's what that is, peeps. That's what that is. All right, now. Ooh. Man down. My reference photo's down. Okay. Now, I got my angle brush, my ruby satin silver angle brush, which I absolutely love. I'm going to mix up. I'm going to mix up raw umber and diox purple, which is going to give me a really dark value. Diox purple is really strong purple color. It's really um, highly saturated warm color. So be careful with that when you start doing it. And that but that's gonna read as like really dark, like blackish type of thing. But I don't want black because if I put black, then yeah. Hello. Hello. Alright, so now let's put in our tree. And the good thing with the angle brush is that, and I'm going to go like this. Right? The good thing with the angle brush is that you can make these beautiful lines. And you don't have to worry. And there's my tree. Now, the tree, of course, in the photo, is like super wonky. And then I'm going to put another one here. Now, I'm going to make that one a little bit thinner. Why? Because I want to give the illusion like this one is further in the distance when it really isn't. Yeah? And then... We have another one. Let me dip back into my same mixture. I'm not changing anything, guys. I'm not changing anything. Okay? Just changing my microphone. <laughs> Just changing around my microphone. That's the only difference. Okay? So don't get worried. Okay, and then we have another one here. And another thing there, and then we have another one here. This is our focal one. So this one I'm going to make a little bit larger, right, because this is our focal one. And I'm going to make it smaller. Even though they kind of, like, palm trees are kind of like, I don't know how to explain them. they like, they're kind of like the same width all the way around. Most of them, right? Even though they kind of like that, they still get a little skinnier at the bottom. A little skinnier, right? And then last but not least, we have our one that's kind of like right here. And the good thing about it is if you're aiming or you're not... Um, your, uh, you know, your, your hand is not steady... 
That's the beautiful thing about That's the beauty of it all, darlings. All right. I kind of went and got crazy right there, so I'm going to take that out. All right, but I still need to mix up some greens. Oh, I didn't even put this down in the description box, but I'm using light green permanent. So definitely feel free to get those different greens. But you can't really get a light green permanent unless you use maybe a phalo blue or something. I'm actually putting out, let me show you guys, ultramarine blue. This is my artist color by Golden. This is actually a fluid acrylic. Which I thought I would be loving it, but... <laughs> ah! I'm not really loving it. I'm not loving it, darling. Because it dries so quick. Oh, you know what? I need to kind of... Alright. I'm just taking a little water. Oops, sorry. I'm taking a little water and I'm cleaning this up. Because I don't want this. And I shouldn't be using my finger. Because I don't want that to be... I don't want that value there. While I mix up my colors, 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 you know I had to sing it. Like, don't, don't do it. You know I had to sing it. I love singing that song. Okay, so while I mix up my greens, that gives me, that gives my... I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. That gives my little tree trunk. I think it's the angle I'm at. That's what it is. It's a weird angle, guys. Weird angle. But just clean it up with some water before it dries. And you'll be okay. Okay, so... While that dries, I am going to put out some yellow. I showed you guys this yellow already, so I don't need to show you again. Um, ooh, that puts out a lot of yellow. Yellow, that's but it is a cadmium, cadmium yellow medium hue. Hue meaning it is not the real cadmium yellow color right because cadmium is hazardous in case you guys don't know so they usually use a hue which means that it looks almost exactly like cadmium it handles almost exactly like cadmium only back in the day they used to use a lot of cadmium you know what I'm saying so but it over time they found out it causes cancer and things like that that could probably explain why a lot of artists died young back in the days. Back in the days, kids. Okay? Now, um, let me get into... Um, you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to love it. Um... I'm actually going to mix my colors, but I'm going to mix my greens while I wait. This is a beautiful brush, right? In case you guys don't know, and I probably should take care of it a little more. I don't know what in the hell that is, but whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, yes, and yes, right? Um. Okay, so this is a Prince. Then select Filbert, whatever, whatever, whatever. One, one eleventh of a fourth, whatever crap, right? 
whatever the the bottom line is this has i don't know if you guys can see it but it has like these um little slits in it it's basically a rake brush or a grass brush it's good for grass trees stuff like that i don't use it very often but this is good especially for beginners if you are first starting out and you're trying to figure out how to do those like little strokes and little of uh, seeds of grass and da da da, da and you're having like a, a hard time i would definitely suggest that you guys probably invest in it well this particular one is a little more expensive because it's by princeton but they have them in all brands it's basically a rake brush and it has like the little things on it where you can uh you know it's good for hairs and all that other jazz. So anyway, I'm I think I'm gonna use this to put in kind of like our little tree, uh, grass, grassery, shrubberies, our little grassery shrubberies. Let's do it. All right, now, in case you guys don't know, this is how you do green. All right. I'm kind of off camera a little bit. Okay, so I'm getting my yellow. And I'm going to get some blue. Now that is a very strong, look at that. That's pretty, very pretty. Now, that's not dark enough, is it, you guys? Because if you think about the reference picture, it has really dark greens. And how does acrylic work? It goes from dark to light. So, what you want to do is you want to darken that up. You would add a blue. You could add a brown to darken things up. Brown also works. I'm adding more blue. And to give it a little more contrast, you could actually add some, um, uh, you can actually turn around and add some black. That give you like a sap green. Now the more blue you add to your yellow, the darker your green will get. Again, I have a color theory video on this exact same thing, you guys. Like, who would have thought? Like, oh my god. Right? So... Again, I'll probably link that up in the iCard, and I'm going to add a little more yellow. The more blue you add, the more black you add, you can, the, the darker your green will get. The more yellow you add, and the more yellow that you add to your blue, the more, the lighter your green will be. Look, I can't even get, I can't even get it out. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. Alright, now see, as you can see, I'm getting darker and darker here. The more blue I'm adding, I'm getting darker and darker. To the point where it's almost looking black, right? But it's not. And you need those different variations. And just off of this one yellow and green, I got all these different variations of green. You got super yellow right here. Yellow, green regular type of green olive green and then you have regular green and then you have like a dark 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 uh whatever whatever green you could also add purples to green and stuff like that and that'll help you out as well right okay now let me wipe off my palette knife also invest in a good palette knife i'm actually using a small teeny tiny palette knife. You could actually use a palette knife, I think, for these type of things, though. But I'm not even going to get into all that. Now, my tree trunks are kind of drying, so... Ooh, excuse me. I'm going to let that dry. Let it get it get its last together. And I'm going to show you these different things. Now, let me wet my brush. I am wetting this thing, the little rake brush. And I'm going to get me some of this dark green. Because remember what we said, dark to light with the acrylics. You don't want to add a lot, right? Because then it will be hard for your 
what's her name to kind of get his life together. And then I'm going to kind of, like, add these little streaks. And I'm going like this. You see, I'm going in, like, a... Um... Like a sweeping motion. And you see what that sweeping motion is doing for me? It's giving me all these different, like, you know, textures. And you want to do, like, all these different things, yeah? Because your tree... Your palm tree, see I'm doing a sweeping motion, and it's giving me what I want. But I, I mean, you can also look at your reference photo, because your reference photo will tell you a lot also. I'm going to bring it down a little bit so you can see what's going on. Your reference photo will kind of tell you a lot. And see with these one sweeping motion. I'm able to get. These different things. This one needs one sweep in motion. One delusion that you are actually... And I'm just tapping and sweeping. Sweeping, sweeping. Take your wrist, sweep, sweep, sweep. Okay? But a lot of this is going to be dark anyway because and I'm actually going to add some purple and blue in the inside here I can't really see so I'm kind of I'm going to lift it up a little bit okay so we have kind of like this dark value like right here so i'm gonna get kind of like some darkness in there somewhere It's okay, remember how acrylics go, you're going to have these ugly stages where things look weird, <clears throat> they look ugly in the beginning, and then remember, you have these little stems that kind of follow... I'm actually going to bring that value down. Uh, so like I said, acrylics has this ugly stage of things. When things look really ugly, they look really weird. Until they don't. So you just have to stick with it and... Pray to the um, mm -hmm. 
I'm actually putting these little ridges that's down in the palm tree. That palm tree is supposed to look really dark. So anyway, like I was saying, um, acrylics look great, right? They look wonderful until they don't. I mean, they look ugly. You have that ugly stage, and then they don't uh, look ugly, depending on I'm doing the same thing here, kind of following this weird, I don't know, um, branch of things. Again, I'm still doing kind of like this sweeping motion. And then you have like some weird flyaway branches here that I don't want to forget. You can also add a little bit of yellow ochre, but I'm not going to do that. Again, I'm still working with this uh, still working with this dark green. Still working with the dark green. To give me what I think I'm gonna need. Um do 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 and then we have something that's underneath. My stuff is actually starting to dry up. I'm actually gonna go to a lighter a lighter color. Because I'm going to highlight a little bit of this, okay? And this is just our lighter value of green. I'm not going to have too much light on this because of the fact that the sun is hitting it behind from behind. So you're not going to have a ton of light. But it makes sense to kind of put variations of green because, um, oh... And let me put a little bit of light green permanent, which you can see here. But you can get this in any acrylic brand you feel like you need to get it in. <clears throat> and I'm going to go with my light green permanent in here. Light green permanent. And that gives me a whole another set of green, right? Let me show you guys there in YouTube land. See, this gives me a whole another set of green. See that, you guys? Again, save your brushes, you guys, and... Now, whoa, see how that, that, that green 
that gives you a whole nother set of green. And that also brings those forward. Yeah? You guys see it? And you only want to put it on places that you feel absolutely need to come forward, right? And then you have another one right there. Now because of the nature, most, most of these palm trees are really like, I don't even know how to explain them. They don't look like this normally, so I'm just going to highlight the areas that I see in the um, reference order. They normally they normally don't look like this. So this is a whole another thing all together all together peeps all right um these look totally different you see what i'm saying like even if you look at your thing like these look totally different totally Right? Totally, totally. Alright. But you can, if you guys at home, I'm just sweeping a little bit over here. Right? If you guys at home do not have this particular brush, You can always use a filbert, you can use a bristle brush, you can use your finger, you know, utilize it however you see fit to get those sweeping motions of tree trunks, yeah? Alright, I'm still looking at my reference. And... I'm gonna go in probably with a lighter some lighter ones. I would actually and this one has like a I don't even know how to explain it. I'm actually gonna go back behind this tree and it goes up here and then down here um, then you have this is kind of like a weird tree and see you got that in the back um and all the while and it has like these weird little sweepy parts Right? These are like kind of like nightmare on elm tree, <laughs> uh, palm trees? I don't know. What do you guys think? They're like some weird, I don't know, type of palm trees? I don't know. If any of you guys in the comments know where this tree could have possibly came from, you tell me. You tell me. Because I don't know. Alright, I grabbed some darker... Um, paint because I wanted to kind of add these little sweepy bits. They have a sweepy bit. I don't even know how to explain it. The sweepy bits. So I gotta have 
these little sleepy bits. The little sleepy bits. Right? And then, I kind of don't know what this extra trick. I think this is a whole nother branch or something. I don't know, peeps. Alright, now, I need to make more dark value. I'm not quite sure what happened. My paint kind of dried up on me. Yes, it did, peeps. Yes, it did. Alright, I got some more dark, and let's go back here to, again, we're going to do a sweepy, and then you have this, and and then you have another sweeping motion right here. And, um, I'm kind of just going by what I'm seeing. That's what I'm going by right now. I might, but I don't think this goes down that far. And I'm still doing my sweeping motions, but I really don't think that goes down that far. Now, again, these have branches, right? These do still have branches, but I need to remove this. If, if, the good thing about acrylics is that if you don't like something, you can always remove it. I'm going to take some water, and I'm actually going to scrub that out. Because I don't think that belongs in, yeah? <coughs> And let me get my, um, excuse me. I'm actually going to wet a rag. Well, you can get a, a wet wipe and kind of wipe that out. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. Or if it happens to dry. Go over it. That seems to be more in perspective. That makes sense. If that makes sense. Right? And I'm just going to flare out these. Make adjustments as you see fit. Um, I'm looking at my reference. And 
I'm making adjustments as I see fit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going back and I'm adding my dark value to places uh, I need to add. To the places I need to add my dark value to. To separate things. So I'm going to add my dark value. To the tops. I think I'm going to add it to the tops. And that's looking pretty good so far. Okay, so um let me kind of work on these three trunks. Remember, wash off your brush, get your brush together. Usually, um, palm trees tend to have like different variations of browns and sandy browns and things like that, but, um, this doesn't have that. I'm actually going to add another layer of dark to it as well. I'm just going to put some, uh, dark purple and some brown, right? Yep. -a. I'm actually going to mix it in my blue because that will give me a really dark value. Um, especially underneath here. That's, that's the thing you have to worry about underneath. I just have my regular brush right here because I need to work on these things without... losing my lines. A regular brush here. Um what was I saying? Yeah, regular palm trees. Um tend to have a lot of browns and stuff like that. But these, because they are behind, right? Because they are behind the sunset. And those ones in the back, I think I'm going to keep those light because that will indicate that those are, that will give people their view of the illusion that those are further away. Right, you guys? And it has rings. There's rings around these trees. So, but I'm going to put this a little further. Um, I'm going to make the tops of my trunks that are underneath the trees. I'm going to make those darker because you got to give the illusion like there's something dark happening underneath there. You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? You feel what I'm saying? And I'm actually going to make, I think, the bottom. I'm actually going to make the bottom 
of the trees a little darker as well. Unbleached titanium. If you don't have this color, you could actually um, put yellow ochre, titanium white, and a little bit of burnt sienna, and that'll give you some color too. So I'm getting some of this. Uh, and you know what? That's actually too purple. Some titanium white out. Unbleached titanium because that'll give me like a lighter value without having like stark white. You feel what I'm saying? Take your time with this, guys. It's not a race. It's supposed to be therapeutic. It's supposed to be giving you lots of um, love and life and other activities is not supposed to be a marathon, right? So focus and don't rush the process. All right, now, I am going to get a little bit of my burnt sienna, which is like that reddish brown. And mix that with this unbleached titanium, but I still want regular burnt sienna. I still want some of that burnt sienna. And since there's rings, right? There's rings in the trees. I'm going to start putting my... But I'm going at an angle. We're going to go at an angle. Because that gives the illusion, right, that since your tree is at an angle, you could also push this value back if you just add a little more brown. Say if you don't like. Or add the purple. Purple, brown, blue. Say so you don't like the rings that you put in here. And you're only supposed to put it on one side, you guys. So don't get crazy with them. As you add in the illusion, like you have rings on your trees. Rings, rings, rings. And I don't, actually, I don't like... dry brush these things on. You can probably dry brush them on. Um, I don't actually like that value, so I need that to be a lot more softer. So I'm going to go in. I'm actually going to darken my burnt sienna up 
with a little bit of the brown because I don't like it to be that light. I don't really want it to be that light, even though because of the acrylics, it's going to dry darker. Okay. And I'm only going to do one side. Because I want to give the illusion like the tree is kind of leaning. Right? So you only want to kind of highlight... the one side of the tree by tapping, tapping, tapping. And again, you can always push that value back if you don't like it. <clears throat> You're probably going to ask, why do you need different values? Because... And you know what? I'm actually going to add... A little bit of the unbleached titanium to the one side of my tree. And you want to do it Do it sparingly, that's what I would say. Why do you need it? Because you need variation to make a tree look... I don't know if you can see it or not. Hopefully you can. I hope you can. But you need different variations in your tree trunks. You just do. You just do, peeps. Trust me. You do. Sweep in motion, you want to skip some areas. And that's what the the life of a palm tree. They have um this one I'm gonna go on the opposite side. The one towards the back. Those are going to be in the opposite side. Opposite direction. I'm just playing around with these values. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> now, all this stuff, you can kind of clean that up. Right? And you ask, why do you need variation? You need variation... To make things look more interesting, right? That red, uh, this burnt sienna, I'm just going to add that here. Again, I'm not really going by the reference photo at this point. I am 
adding interest, adding what I want. And I hope you guys at home do the same. But you only want to add it on certain sides. Like I'm going to add it to the left right here. This is burnt sienna. And that's what you got with that. Now, it seems to be like, um, some weird leaves kind of coming down here. So I'm going to form those weird leaves. doing the same with this. And I'm going to clean this up, this area up. Washing out my brush, washing out my brush. Um, I need to get some yellow in there, so I'm going to actually clean that up with a little bit of yellow. And that's what it is up, darling. My heat is coming back up, you guys, so hopefully you will prepare for that. And I don't have enough white on here, as you can see, because the yellow is quite transparent. So if you ever want to pump up the volume on your, your yellow, add some white, you guys. And see how... I'm able to push that value back. Yeah. I'm actually going to add a little more weight. Uh, you guys, you guys, dude, that actually, I mean, a nice value, yeah. And I'm 
You guys, so you can clean up areas of stuff that you feel that you kind of went outside of the line, so to speak. And this is a little bit more yellow than my original background, but that's quite okay. I'm happy with it. Happy accident, so to speak, right, with like Bob Ross. Happy accidents. And we got this. I'm adding the same yellow right here. Ooh. And of course, I have paint in my hair. Why not? And that looks quite pretty. I'm happy with that. Kind of bright yellow. I'm pretty happy with that. Gives it a tropical feel. Add a little burnt sienna again. This might be a good day to kind of go live, you guys. Yeah. Ooh, that is a little bit too. Um, what you call it? I can actually change the whole composition of this thing if I really think about it. I'm just glazing this stuff on, you guys. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm actually... Hmm. A little burnt sienna, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm kind of feeling that. So you're going to kind of, like, glaze some stuff in make it work for you. And that's a little burnt sienna, yellow, and titanium white. And let me put my white back in here. I need this to be a lot whiter than it is. <clears throat> it's a little too yellow. So we need to get our white back in there, don't we? Yes, indeed, peeps. Yes, indeed. I'm kind of like scumbling, scrubbing this thing in. I originally was going to clean out my spots, but, you know. It's heels. What is heels? And that looks pretty good. <coughs> mm. I'm feeling that. I'm loving it. I'm going to add white. Lots of white right about here. And I want to give the illusion. Then I'm going to let it dissipate into 
the ether. And see, that's pretty good because that will give people the illusion like this, actually. That'll give some for people to look at. If you add that little burst of light, okay, right here. That's where I'm going to add my light, right here. And that's nothing but yellow and titanium white. I'm going to add my light right there. Which looks very pretty because, and then the more white you add, and look how things are coming together with just some layers, you guys. The more white you add, we can actually make this into a little sun, right? The more white you add, the brighter that spot will be. White and yellow, actually, yellow is the brightest value you can actually get. Now I'm going to get my blender brush because I want to I want to um, kind of blend this thing out. And that looks really gorgeous, especially on camera. It looks gorgeous. Sometimes when you're doing something, you guys, you have to step back beyond yourself. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm just softly blending those hard edges, okay? And I'm blending it in a circular motion. Why? Because... I want to give the illusion like there's a beam of sun right here. Right? Uh-oh. What happened? Are we starting up? Are we starting up? Okay. This thing always does this after a while. I don't know what just happened. See, now that wasn't me. I don't know what that was actually about. Hmm. My phone got hot.